Kyle McGovern here, former Tar Heel, J.R. Reed alongside as the Florida State Seminoles continue to roll with their 10th win in 11 games, getting past NC State on Saturday afternoon. The Wolfpack, meanwhile, squander another opportunity to get a quality win as they continue to try to bolster their resume for the NCAA tournament. Now, J.R., when we talk about NC State, we're normally talking about the offensive balance they typically bring. That was not the case on this day. It was actually Florida State who had the maybe the most balanced offensive attack all year long. Absolutely. Starting five played magnificently, mag magnificently early in the game, and then the guys off the bench came out with a superior effort today. Uh, O'Carroll White was fabulous off the bench with 10 points, big rebounds. Ian Miller was superb as well, shooting the ball from the perimeter. So everyone is really clicking here for Florida State at the right time of the season. Yeah, Ian Miller, 17 points off the bench. Uh, FSU bench actually accounted for 37 of Florida State's 76 points, also almost uh, 50%. Now, what did this Florida State defense that, that we know is always pretty good, what do they do to stifle NC State's offense? Well, they always have tremendous ball pressure, Kyle, and that's what they did on the perimeter. One didn't allow uh, NC State to get in their offense. We're going to take a look at it right here you can see for yourself great ball pressure man on the ball hand up on the ball pressure everywhere they've gotten them starting the offense from deep too deep deeper than nc state would like to start it all the way back to half court try to make passes and there you go with the pressure and a, a careless turnover yeah forces the turnover they had 17 of those uh on the day and only had eight points off the bench so that also attributed to uh, their downfall on this day. Now, NC State, when you, when you come to a game like this, you like to see a certain level of energy given the magnitude of the game, given the magnitude of what they're trying to do and make the NCAA tournament. We did not see that. We knew this game was going to be mental after you know losing the 20-point lead to Duke. Did that have an effect on this? And how do you bounce back from a loss like that? I believe so, Kyle. You hit it right on the head. There was a little lag still from the Duke game. They didn't come out with the energy that I expected. As you mentioned, this is a big, big game for them with NCAA implications. And they did not come out with their best effort today. But I know Coach Godfrey had to know something was going to be a little wrong when he only dressed seven players today yeah. going against a tough FSU squad. Coming off an emotional loss like that, you blow a 20-point lead. How tough is that as a player? It's tough. But you know, Kyle, this is what basketball players do. And this is what coaches are paid to do, get guys motivated and ready for the next game. They've got to let that one get under the, under the bridge and continue to keep playing. And they did today. Well, Florida State moves to 10-2 in the ACC. Guess who they get next? Who's that guy? Duke, uh -oh. Thursday. Look out for that. <laughs>